Motocon out here. Today, we're going to be addressing a VW code. The code is a P2015 intake manifold runner position sensor switch circuit range performance. All right, this is common on the uh, the TSI, the 2.0 motors. These car, This engine is found in uh, the Passats, the CC, the Tiguans, Jettas. It's the 2.0 turbo motor. Okay, and basically, uh, it's saying the sensor. The sensor is below, is right here, right where the filter is, but it's usually not that sensor. This, these cars have a major recoil on the uh, manifold. And basically, what you're going to want to look for is the, the engine covers off. You take the engine cover off, you look at this vacuum valve right here and where it's connected to. It's connected to right over here. Now, these th this is all plastic. And now what you can do is, let me try to get a better view, is you try to pull it, push on it like... Try to pull it out. You see the circle over here? And if it and see if it if it comes out. Not hard, I mean just a little bit. And look at this. It already popped out. You see how much it see this? Now that that is broken. Alright, and they break all the time. And of course now it's not the runner, there's a little runner in there. Of course it's not gonna work properly, and the computer thinks it's the switch on the other side. It's a computer, it doesn't know, it's whatever it's programmed to do. You have to know. And that's why that's what I'm here for. Anyway, um, and you see, you see this, that, and I'll put it back in. That, what that does, first of all, it makes the flap inoperable, gives you the code. Second thing, it creates a massive vacuum leak, and that can give you misfire codes. And that's what this engine has. It, it, ha it has multiple misfires, okay? And I guess the person before this didn't know that. And that's what will give you a code. So that's what you're going to want to check. I mean, they make some, well, no, not for this, but there's something else that can go wrong, like the stop. This little plastic thing down there, it wears out, and there's like a little cap, they, a little aluminum cap. Don't do that. I mean, because now these, these things are aftermarket now, because they were expensive. And what I'm getting at is that you're going to have to replace the whole intake manifold. It's a big plastic thing, and it comes with the valve. It also comes with that sensor. It also comes with the solenoid over here. See the solenoid? It comes with all of that. Um, usually the factory ones were a lot of money, three, four hundred dollars. Now you can get them aftermarket for I think ninety dollars on eBay or or Amazon. Uh, you just put in the year, make a model because they're a little bit different. Some of them have a vent on the solenoid, some don't. Uh, and you get the proper one for your car. And you can watch my video. I have a video on how to remove this intake manifold. There's the bolt. There's certain bolts in here. How to remove them. And you can watch that video and to remove it and replace it. Because basically that's the only thing. When you if yours moves out like that, it means it broke. You know, from heat, they don't, like I said, they're plastic. And that'll give you that code. All right, guys. Um, if it's not, if and let's say uh, uh, getting back to the code, if that is off, if that's fine, then you have to make sure your vacuum source is fine. Like you see where this line goes? All right, this line goes up. And it goes to the vacuum bo the vacuum booster right here. There's a T right on the top over here. You see this? Make sure it's not clogged. Make sure it's not cracked. On this side, let me see. It's right here. You'll see it. It's, it's like there's, there's two things. It looks like an F. There's one, two, and three uh, uh, ports to it. The thin, the thin wire, you follow this one that has the insulation on it. That comes around here. You see it right here. And then goes to this valve. Make sure it's not clogged. Okay. There's a couple of other things, but like anything that has to do with the manifold itself, you can't replace it. You can't just buy this. So you have to buy the whole manifold. Okay. So as long as uh, you got vacuum there, and the vacuum's okay, uh, chances are that's what your problem is. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the plastic manifold itself. All right, guys. Motor car nut. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. And I get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate all your views and comments. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.